Hey guys, Noe B here with South Texas Contender. I'm here with Robert Diaz. He's the matchmaker of Golden Boy. He's been matchmaking fights for a long time now. Uh, Robert, how you doing, sir? Very good, very uh, thrilled. I mean, we, have, we had a great fight. The, the fans went home happy, and I think everybody at home on TV that watched it got an opportunity to see one of the best fights out there. Now, I'm gonna hit you with something real quick, Robert, but I know the outcome's gonna be great. Um, you know, now they're showing fights on other networks. You know, uh, most of the fighters are not coming out on HBO. And, you know, people are thinking, okay, well, Golden Boy don't have that many fighters. Tonight, we saw a fight that I think should have been a pay-per-view event. I mean, that fight gave me so much goosebumps. I didn't know too much about, about Will. When I saw him perform, I mean, it was just fantastic. Even though he lost the fight, I want to see him fight again. And when you put on fights like that, I mean, you're the matchmaker. You made that fight. I mean, tell us about it. Well, uh, it's just, it's, you know, um, thank you for your words. That, that means a lot. I think that'll mean a lot to the fighters who, every time they step in the ring, they, they put their lives on the line. And HBO, uh, Showtime, uh, you know, all the networks, it's, it's great that everybody show up boxing because it shows. Boxing's alive. As long as you provide good fights, even fights, great matchups will keep the sport going. You give them what the fans want to see, fights like tonight. That's what the fans want to see. That's what I want to see. This past weekend, there was an event on, on Saturday on NBC. I saw the fights. I wasn't too pleased on the Cormain event. The names were big. Yeah, indeed they were. And, but it wasn't the excitement that I got today here on HBO Latino. Uh, and it really was. I'm not saying that because you're here, Thank you. but it's the honest truth. We're seeing fight. I mean, sometimes I say that because I'm a big boxing fan. I say, man, sometimes I like seeing the fights, the guys that are up and coming, because they're the ones that want it. Well, you, you hit it right on the key. It's not so much about the big names. They've already made it there. Sometimes the big names are comfortable, and it happens to everybody at, at a certain point. It's not until they lose that they're like, and they lose something from them, that they're like, you know what, I want it back. But tonight you saw two guys that came in. In fact, four, because even in the co-main event, you saw two, four guys that came in to win. Not one of those four thought in their mind, I'm here to lose. All four came to win. And that's when you get the best fights. But again, even matchups. And you know what? Uh, the only criticism that I had is that I think that this fight should have been a Saturday night fight. It should have been one of those boxing after dark, uh, something headlining. I know you all have something big. Uh, coming up May 9th, but I mean this was a great fight, spectacular fight. I mean, will we see will we see a will again? Of course, you'll see a will again, and that's what I told him a few minutes ago in the, in the dressing room. It's sometimes yes, of course he, he's down, he's disappointed. He wanted to win. He didn't come in here to lose or can take second place. But sometimes even a loss like this, and you hit it earlier, gives you more than a lot of the other wins. There's some wins that the fighters you don't even want to see back on TV again. And I think you, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. These fighters, both corners, I think all the fans want to see them again. And as long as they're healthy and back, hey, of course they get it back and on TV. I definitely see that a lot, man. I see a lot of great fighters where it's boring to watch them because they're not fighting someone that's good. They're not fighting someone at their level. And when you're putting up matches like the way you did today and your past events, I mean, it just makes it, it makes an excitement because you don't know what's going to happen. That's what the sport should be, not knowing what's going to happen. It's been a blessing. The changes, everything we've had in our company, Oscar being a former world champion, a former multiple world champion, his direction is, I want fights for the fans. I want fights that the fans are going to walk away saying, man, I got my money's worth and I want to go back to another event. And that's what we're doing. It makes my job easy. Well, um, Robert, I want to go on and go on forever talking to you. But before I go, man, uh, congratulations on this May 9th fight. Uh, at one point, I was thinking maybe Canelo's getting easy fights uh, and, and so on and so forth. I mean, you gave him James Kirkland. Uh, we know he's a powerful puncher. That could be a big gamble. I mean, there's a big possibility that James Kirkland may land a good shot because I don't think Canelo has ever been tested with a, with a power puncher like James Kirkland. What can we expect on that night, uh, on that fight? Another type of this fight where the, you, now, you don't know what the outcome is going to be because James could turn it around in one punch. Canelo should be able to box and move and punch and, 
and look for the knock on himself. But James Kirkland is coming out because this is the, he knows that this is the opportunity of a lifetime. So these are the type of fights that the fans want to see, you guys want to see, I want to see, and the whole boxing world wants to see. Well, I, I look forward to seeing what, what Golden Boy does in the future. I'm excited. I'm pumped up. And I know there's going to be a new, com new coming fighters up and coming. And uh, we look forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Likewise.